Hey guys! In this video we'll cover another objective for the MO100 exam and namely how to set up document pages. Before we start consider subscribing if you haven't done so already so that you don't miss out on any new training content and if you find this video useful please smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. That being said let's start going through this objective and to set up document pages we have to go to the page layout tab and here are all the relevant page setup options. The first option we're going to look at is margins. So here you have a few popular options like normal, narrow, moderate and some other margin options but in the exam it is often required to set specific margins so you click custom margins and here you can set the specific margins in inches. You can also set in the page setup group the page orientation like portrait on, and landscape, the page size like A4 letter or some envelopes so there are many global page sizes but you can also set your custom one so for example here you can set the width and height also within margins there's option to set multiple pages so look what happens when we set two pages per sheet click OK and now this document divided our pages into two pages per sheet. Perfect. The next thing we can set is columns. So we can set multiple numbers of columns and when we click this option we can also specify the specific width and spacing. Perfect. The Another thing useful is hyphenation. Uh, we don't have to do that in this document but generally you go to hyphenation when you have large paragraphs and you can set the automatic or manual hyphenation and in the hyphenation options you can also for example set to limit the consecutive hyphens to some specific number let's say. Now let's switch into another document and look into section breaks. So we'll switch here. In this document I have inserted way too many lorem ipsum paragraphs but they will come handy when we work with sections. So let's go back to the layout tab and here you can set breaks and we'll look specifically into section breaks. Section breaks are useful in document when you want to apply different page setups in or a few page setups in one specific document. So let's say that we want this text to be on portrait pages and the rest on the landscape pages. For that, for the convenience we'll also show the hidden symbols Let's go back to layout and now we have to insert a section break. So we go to breaks and next page section break. Perfect. Now you can see that that is the section break. Let's leave this text as it is and let's set here the page orientation to landscape. Perfect. Notice what would happen if we didn't set here this section break. So I can simply delete it. And now this page setup option is applied to all of the pages. Okay. Let's go back. Perfect. Let's go back again. Now you can see that there is no section break and perhaps again if we change the margin to narrow it is applied to all of the pages. Now let's look into continuous section break. So let's say that from this paragraph onwards we want to set two columns. 
For that, we'll need to insert here a continuous section break. Perfect. And now click here and set two columns. Perfect. Now we'll look into the last option of the page setup, which is line numbers. And for that, we'll switch into another document. So let's go to this document. And essentially, line numbers are handy for teachers and exam makers. So you might know that on some standardized tests, there are reading comprehension and critical reading passages, and there are line numbers alongside. So let's make such a passage. I will firstly perhaps set it to two columns and make it a bit wider like that. And let's apply page or line numbers. So we'll set the continuous numbers. Now you can see the number of each line and it is usual it is uh, common that we set the line numbers more specifically for example count by five so now when we apply the changes you can see the fifth tenth fifteenth line and so on and again, if you want to set the specific line numbers, you click here, line numbering options, and here, line numbers. So yeah, guys, that is all for this video. I hope you find it useful. If so, smash that like button, and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.